Hi, I'm Jeff Boyd. This video is about the Greta Thunberg phenomenon. A girl in Sweden named Greta Thunberg heard about the climate crisis at age uh, eight, and she became very alarmed. Her understanding was that it was going to rob her of her future, that millions of different plants and animals were about to go to extinct, that it was caused by humans, and that although the political leaders claimed to want to do something about climate change, they in fact were doing nothing. She became very depressed. She stopped speaking. She became mute and would speak only to her parents and her sister and one teacher. The family got into therapy. The therapist encouraged Greta to do something about her alarm about the environment. What's a 10-year-old supposed to do? So she went around turning off the lights. She became a vegan. She stopped flying on airplanes. And she asked her parents to do the same, which they did. By age 15, the leaders were still doing nothing about climate change. And Greta had had enough. She decided to go on strike. No other students wanted to join her. But every Friday, she would leave school and go sit on in front of the parliament building in Sweden with a sign saying, School Strike for the Climate. Her parents were opposed to this. Her teachers were opposed to this. And members of parliament told her, you should go to school and become a climate uh, scientist who can help us solve this problem. And she said, nonsense. Science understands what's wrong with the climate. They've been telling you for 30 years, but you won't listen. What's needed is a strike to force you to listen. Greta began to write about her experience and her point of view on Instagram and, and Twitter and Facebook, and it went viral. Very soon, one million students all around the world in 150 countries began to strike every Friday for the environment. <laughs> should go to school. We will continue to school strike until they do something. The people in power have proved that they, they are not going to be the ones leading this change, not without massive public pressure from the outside. And we have to be that pressure. Soon, there were 15 million people following Greta. She was invited to speak and did speak to the European Union, the British Parliament, the United Nations, the US Congress. She was nominated for Nobel Prize and appeared on the cover of Time magazine as the most influential person in the world in 2019. There's a lot of people, Greta, that when it comes to this topic, they feel quite powerless. Um, before you yourself were on the, the global stage, we hear that you, you kind of did some campaigning to your parents and it helped you kind of, it gave you more hope, I suppose. What, what is it that you were doing, like, to campaign to your parents? Yeah, I mean, of course, when you're a child, when you're like 8 or 10 or 11 years old, there is not much that you can really do to make a big difference. So then you start small. I started with turning off the lights at home to save energy. And that led to another thing, which led to another thing. Uh, and eventually I stopped flying, I stopped... I, I became vegan and so on, and then I, I got my parents to do that too, because I started talking to them, and they started to listen to my concerns. And by making them change, it also gave me the sort of courage that I needed to, to move on, to start school striking. So starting somewhere is, is really good, yeah. starting home, for example. Yeah. I think that's what they say, isn't it? Start where you are. Greta, your first climate strike was a lonely event a little over a year ago. And in the intervening time, you have sparked the interest of millions, literally, of children around the globe, demanding action for climate change. What's your message to world leaders today? This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Yet, you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. And all you can talk about is money 
and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? <gasps> Greta has become the voice of her generation. What do the numbers say? The Keeling curve, our best measure of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, has been rising and has not slowed down at all. Although our leaders tell us that things are under control, the Keeling curve indicates the climate is getting worse fast. We have a short time to turn it around before it triggers natural processes that are beyond human control. I have not come to offer any prepared remarks at this hearing. I am instead attaching my testimony. It is the IPCC Special Report on Global Warming of 1.5 degrees Celsius, the SR 1.5. I am submitting this report as my testimony because I don't want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to the scientists. And I want you to unite behind the science. And then I want you to take real action. Thank you. You can tell from Twitter that Greta is not going away. Andrew Tate is a multimillionaire who brags that he owns dozens of the most expensive sports cars on earth. He sent a tweet to Greta, please provide your email address so I can send a complete list of my car collection and their respective enormous emissions. Greta wrote back a tweet, yes. Please do enlighten me. Email me at smalldickenergy at getalife.com. Greta just turned 20. We are still here, and we are not planning on going anywhere. Young people all over the world are stepping up. Soon I'll post another video on my YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Jeffrey H. Boyd. Thanks for watching.